Hi, I'm Michael Perlman and I'm founding member of Rejectionist Front. Uh, we reject the status quo as we seek positive change through music. And one of the videos we have up is Flush, which we were very happy that uh, MTV Iggy picked up as one of the soundtracks of the revolution last year. The song is about the economic crisis and the fact that not one criminal banker uh, that was involved and a massive fraud that helped lead to the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression has been arrested, has been jailed. And I've spoken to bankers and I've spoken to lawyers who represent those bankers and they say as long as they're not going to jail, they're just going to continue to commit their crimes because it makes more sense financially to do so. Um, so we have to put an end to that and we have to hold people accountable and bring them to justice so that we don't have a repeat of another financial crisis that hurt so many Americans and people around the world. Uh, so this video we're very proud to have made. The um, other video that you've seen here is $50. And this is about uh, freedom. Uh, for the price of $50 uh, is the price of an underground railroad in the Sudan that can liberate men, women, and children. And we were very moved by that. And not just we write the song and made the music video, but we were happy that it got uh, national radio play. And then on the heels of that, uh, we founded Rock to Save Darfur, a not-for-profit organization that uh, brings awareness to the cause of freedom and to combat genocide around the world. And as a result of a series of concert benefits, uh, we have been able to uh, help free hundreds of slaves. And the bios of the men, women, and children who are freed are up on the website, rocktosavedarfur.org. And we have a special slave liberation program to continue those efforts. Uh, in addition, we've also helped out uh, with Save the Children and Doctors Without Borders and some other incredible organizations on the ground that help to save many lives. Um, the necessity of freedom, uh, both uh, here in the United States, as exemplified by uh, widespread protests that, uh, unfortunately, we learn we're not as free as we might not as we might think because um, when people protest in large numbers we're seeing a lot of arrests and that's exactly what happened with the Occupy movement when those sit-ins resulted in a coordinated police actions in many cities to arrest the people involved uh, and if you juxtapose that with not having one uh, criminal indictment of the bankers that were that helped lead to that the financial crisis uh, is really remarkable, and that has to be changed. Fundamentally, it has to be changed. Um, the, we also make documentary films uh, through my production company, World To Be Productions. Um, and please go to worldtobe.com where you can get more information about uh, Rejectionist Front as well as the documentary films. Um, one, the first one was Eyes of the World, and uh, that uh, highlights a small group of very courageous men and women who are risking their lives as war photographers in war zones where they are able to um, document horrific killings but also the human capacity to endure. And through their images, uh, they have helped lead to the end of conflict, they've helped save many lives, and helped bring freedom to different countries around the world. And we owe them a tremendous debt. Uh, Tibet Beyond Fear is also a story of freedom, a very personal story of a Tibetan Buddhist monk and nun um, who are leading freedom demonstrations against repression in, in China. And the Tibetan Buddhist nun in the film uh, is really a remarkable example about the power of music that can help free people because she and 13 other Tibetan Buddhist nuns uh, secretly recorded freedom songs and smuggled it out of the country. And when that cassette tape reached Amnesty International, it galvanized amnesty and a worldwide movement into action where people did simple things. They just went out into the streets and protested or they signed a petition, but cumulatively we gave voice to the voiceless and were instrumental in freeing this Tibetan Buddhist nun. Um, and it was very empowering to see that. The, um, the next film was called uh, Free China, The Courage to Believe. And uh, this film um, shows how a peaceful meditative practice which is a combination of Buddhism and ancient Taoist beliefs of a universal energy that, that is through all of us, channeling like Tai Chi exercise, um, how this movement swept across China in the 1990s 
and there were more than 70 million people practicing this uh, meditation and peaceful exercise in the parks and public squares. And the Chinese government got scared that so many people were coming together, even though it was a spiritual practice. And they declared them public enemy number one and started rounding up people. And uh, the woman in the film, Jennifer, is a mother and a former Communist Party member who got swept up by this massive crackdown when um, a letter that she wrote on the internet was intercepted by the internet police. And she was arrested and she was tortured and terribly. And she was also forced to make many products uh, that are sold throughout the West. And her story is intertwined with an American who also went to China to try to help free the people there by hacking into the cable broadcast system to bring free information um, into that very closed society. Uh, he's also arrested and he's forced to make products as well at prison slave labor camps. And, uh, amongst other things, he's making Homer Simpson slippers um, that are sold at discount outlets throughout the United States. Uh, so one of the critical components of the film is to raise that awareness and to uh, get a, a massive campaign, petitions, signatures, and other efforts that can enact a legislation that has some support in Congress already to ban the importing of prison slave made goods into the country. Um, because no one really wants the blood on their hands. But we don't even know what products are actually made that way, so we need to determine what those products are and make sure they don't make it to our shelves. Um, also, the uh, new internet technologies that have uh, now come uh, into fruition are really instrumental in breaking down firewalls and, and passing through the great uh, censorship apparatus that have been constructed by different dictatorships around the world so that free information can come inside. And uh, there's this new internet technology that was actually instrumental in the Arab Spring in allowing people to communicate with Facebook and Twitter and other online methods. And the government shut that down for a few days, but this new technology was able to get it up again. And once they got it up again, uh, it directly led towards uh, a change in that country, uh, which is really remarkable. And this same technology is being used in China as well and Iran and other repressive regimes. So we want to get more servers for this organization so that they can ramp up their efforts and get a tremendous amount of uh, information to tens of millions of people uh, inside these repressive regimes that can hasten the day to freedom. And I feel like we have a responsibility to do that. We're in a free country and we have a responsibility to help others be free. It's on our own self-interest also because a free world will also be a much more peaceful world um, that will benefit all of us. The uh, with Rejectionist Front, we were very honored um, when one of our songs, Reclaim, was selected by uh, Music for Occupy as a, on the compilation, along with uh, Crosby and Nash and Jackson Brown, um, Tom Morello, Patti Smith, and uh, Warren Haynes, and many incredible artists. My advice to fellow musicians is put a band together, sing about something you believe in, discipline yourself, enjoy, spread that energy, um, and you make, you're going to make it happen. And on the film side, same thing, grab a video camera, find something you believe in that you want to talk about, that you want to raise awareness about, and shoot it. Um, for more information about uh, music or film, go to world 2 b world2be.com, and you get all the information there. Um, thanks to James, and thanks to everyone at Icon Unite uh, for making this happen, and for spreading another message of uh, positive change uh, through art, through music.